priority right now is Wembley. So that's the focus. You know, I mean, before, you know, you, I mean, they had a lot of masters to fill, but the number one master right now is Wembley. So that's the prior, you know, that's why when you're talking about like why they didn't announce other stuff or do angles, they did nothing but angles for Wembley tonight. And there was no, you know, and, and unfortunately, many of them were, were similar. I mean, it's like, you know, there were 10 segments and in eight of them, there was an attack. And and it's always the heels beating down the baby faces. Yes. It was you know, over and over and over again. Everyone looked, I mean, it's it's like when those angles, okay, that they did, I would not say that any of them on their own, that there was anything wrong with any of them on their own. I mean, they were all fine. I didn't think any, oh my God. But what I did think was this all looks the same. It's like it all looks the same. It's like they have a, a it, it's almost like it's this blueprint. But the thing is, if you do the same thing over and over again, it's never going to work. That's the one thing when, with wrestling. You've got to vary it. Um, but, um, you know, like I said, like, I mean, they're out there trying to build matches for, you know, for the Wembley show. And, I mean, we got, we pretty much got the card now. You know, I mean, I'm sure there's like one or two matches that are um, still not known, but probably not many. I mean, if you look at, um, you know, I'm going to guess they'll probably have one or two um, pre-show matches, and uh, pretty much. And of course, obviously, they're going to they're gonna fill in the mystery partners for um, the BCC, you know. Um, but you know, pretty much, we got. I think we have a combination of the 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 card itself, and then there's you know, obviously, the House of Black and the acclaimed and Billy Gunn and um, Samoa Joe and CM Punk, you know, those have not been announced, but they have been built up. The, you know, I mean, it's like we, we have those. It's it's not like, you know, they're, they're set up. So it's like we, we, we got that. And you don't have to announce every single match ahead of time. When, the, you know, all the key matches have been announced, you know, have been announced. They were announced. The key matches were all announced last week, and now we've got the whole card. Well, so. I think the thing is, and we'll we'll talk about Dynamite here in a moment, but you, you had this frenetic two-hour show of angle, 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 to the point where we didn't have an announcement of collision or rampage. And my question is, why didn't we start this build earlier? Because that's every, it's all everybody asked was, when are we going to start well, promoting I mean, so, Wembley? So, when are we going to promote Wembley? Well, I mean, and we it, waited, it, and we waited, and we waited. Well, a And lot then of it's it, like, boom, 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 boom. Well, a lot of it, a lot of it had to do with the fact that, that Eddie Kingston and Will Ospreay you know, were not available. There's a and, whole bunch of other matches. Well, the 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 MJF and Adam Cole, both those matches were were already built up last week, and we knew about MJF and Adam Cole has been built up for months. I mean, so that's not the main event's been built up for months. Um, Young Bucks and FTR has been built up for a couple of weeks. You know, they they could have done that earlier because all yeah, it, was, it was was a okay. challenge. Yeah, they could have done they could have done it earlier, but they may not have even decided on it earlier. But they could have done that one a couple of weeks earlier. Um, but it was still out there well ahead of time, so that one wasn't bad. Um, you know, the Omega thing um, they could have done uh, it earlier. Um, yeah, they 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 could they they could have they could have moved that one up about a week or two. But I think maybe. You know, they were doing the, um, I mean, Jericho and Osprey, this was the first week. That My point is, if angle. you would have just spaced it out a little bit better, we wouldn't have had a show like tonight where they had to shoot an angle for practically every single match on this show. Like, yeah. we had nine segments announced in advance, and they had more than that when you actually watched the show. Of all just angle, attack, angle, attack, angle, attack, angle, attack. I know. Spread it out a little more. That's all I'm yeah. saying. Well, I, I, I agree with you. But the nature of, you know, um, some of it, like... Much of that was going to have to happen tonight. Um, yeah, they could have done the stuff with the Young Bucks and FTR, this, those angles. They could have done them all a week earlier so you didn't have so many this week, you know. But, you know, they, you know, the, the, they, they wanted to do it this way, you know. Um, they, you know, the, the attack aspect of it, I mean, they, they wanted to do the angle in this one where there was no attack, where it's essentially baby face, baby face. So they got the match out of the way. They, you know, they did the challenges. They got the match. It's out there. Then they did the attack. Yes, could they have moved everything up one week and had the attack last week? Yes, they could have. And probably would have alleviated some stuff on this show. So, but I mean, but most of the stuff, you know, the MJF and Adam Cole is just, you know, 
it was it was it was started well ahead of time. It was announced well ahead of time. I mean, you know, it's fun. one of the funny things is, and granted, now this show is a, a big, big show. It's 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 different. But one of the things that I noticed is is that at the same period, you know, because WWE is doing a pay per view um, six days after AEW, they're doing the Pittsburgh pay per view, and this week was essentially what it would have been one week ago. Okay, and this week we have not only we we you know it's like one of my complaints with the you know it's funny because people WWE doesn't do this WWE doesn't do this blah 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 and I even said that okay but the reality is is that WWE has not announced any matches for Pittsburgh and we are at the same point as AEW was last week when they had announced several matches including the two top matches and the ROH tag team title match. They had announced a lot, but they'd still announced something. WWE's announced zero, nothing. And the other thing was, is that WWE, like before SummerSlam, you know, after the pay-per-view before SummerSlam, after Money in the Bank, look, you, you knew the whole SummerSlam card as far as the key matches, you know, almost every match. Coming off of this card, I didn't know any matches. And I still don't know any matches. I watch the TV on Monday, and do I know any pay-per-view matches? I should know. I should know. I should know at least the, the main event, or probably the top three or four matches. Um, although they don't have to announce them yet. I don't know anything. You know, I suppose I could ask. But what do you? What do I? What do I ask? Is Jimmy wrestling Jay? Probably. You know, it's too early for that. But who knows? But I mean, who's wrestling on the show? So you know, for all of that, you know, with the, with the complaints. And they're valid that that you know that that Wembley should have been there should have been more stuff done earlier. The, you know when people go WWE would never do that. They're actually doing it worse in this cycle than than AEW. And you go well, well we're all not... talking Wembley versus this Pittsburgh yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I know. I know. They're coming I'm... off SummerSlam, and they had a lot for SummerSlam earlier than no well, SummerSlam. They, they yeah, Summer, SummerSlam. They had they had the stuff obvious. Yeah, this one they don't. So it's like they've you know, and it's like. Yeah, but AEW's got, you know, two pay-per-views at the same time, which, but I'm sure that wasn't, you know, that wasn't the original idea, but the original idea was two big shows at the same time. I think he just wanted, the, the, the August 27th was the date he could get Wembley, and it was just what it was, and I don't think he wanted to break the Labor Day tradition for Chicago, so that's what he ended up with. Could he have moved Chicago back a month? Would it have been better? Yes. But he wants to do the tradition, and and I get that because over the course of time and years, what we've learned in wrestling is the traditions end up drawing. Because in wrestling right now, it's you know with, with WWE, it's no longer the matches that draw. It's WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam. You know the tradition that's for decades and decades. Well, you can't build a tradition for decades and decades when you pull the tradition by by year three. So he's trying to build something for the future. I totally get it. But this year, obviously this year, it, it was not perfect. But this, you know, it's never going to be perfect. And so you got to accept some imperfections, too. And then Anthony Bowens starts talking about Mr. Ass. <laughs> he's in tears talking about Mr. Ass. One more time, he says, from your couch at home, scissor me, daddy ass. I wish they would have said something like, we called him on the ass phone. Remember how Gorilla Monsoon had the banana phone? Yeah. I just imagine a phone, an ass phone that they oh, used to call Billy I'm going to regret this Google search. <laughs> <laughs> For an article on Vice from April of 2016. <clears throat> the secret world of tiny phones that go inside your butt. Oh, really? Well, that's, that's not quite what I was expecting. Nor, wait a second, there's an article on this? Can you, can you send me this article? Okay, all right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a minute. Now, if you hello, told me, hello, hello. Craig, please. What are we talking about? I don't know. Wrestling or something. Okay. Collision? Collision. House of Black versus Darius Martin in action and Trinity <laughs> Lee Johnson. That's where you keep the phone. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.